Hi friends, how are you all? Here your friend Rajnikanth, Excel Guru. Here I conducted a test in Telegram group that is with uh, 10 interview questions. This is part 2. And uh, now jumping to still 3 I have completed. Today also I will try to complete all, else uh, remaining I will complete later. Okay guys, so observe guys. Now jumping to fourth one here so what i said this this is a login hours and you have to find the the find the total payment for total login hours so per hour it cost 125 rupees i'll make it as a currency control shift four alt h nine alt h nine to decrease the decimal okay now see wh how i'll do first of all what you'll do first of all you have to from here to here you have to minus right so first of all you have to take out this one the right the right side time that is 20 okay it is 24 hours format is equal to I'll replace old text this one start number one number of number of characters search search this one find text not this one sorry within text this one close parenthesis and close parenthesis so what it will show you that number number of characters f9 so six one two three four five 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6 characters. Okay. New text. What will be the new text? Blank. See. Okay, okay guys. Now we found the 8 one. But it's a left alignment. Means it is a text. Text number. Not a number. Text number it is. Okay. If it is right alignment, it is a number. Okay. So here. Minus. Now minus right R -I -G -H -T, right sorry not right left left this one comma again search this one in the same text but here we need minus one okay minus one close parenthesis see here what will happen let's see it will work or not F9. See, it is a text. Text number. See, it is a text number. It is also a text number. Okay, it is also a text number. F9. Text number. So, if you enter, what will happen? Let's see. Okay. Okay, it is showing right. Okay, from here, it is okay. It is showing the right time. When you drag this formula down, it's a relative reference, guys. Whenever I drag the formula, it will check left, second one to third, one to third side of my left. Okay that cell it will refer okay see what will happen value error why what the value error what is the wrong in this I already mentioned see here extra space over here okay some extra spaces will be there here also extra space so you have to remove extra spaces from here for that reason I am using a trim function for both formulas for both formulas okay for both formulas and using trim because it may be here or it may be there we die we don't know okay so let's see double click see now it is changed now this is not a right time okay this is not a right time so we have to convert this into a 24 into open parenthesis close parenthesis control enter you see now it's the right time sometimes it won't work guys sometimes it will work okay see let's check whether it is working perfect 10 to 13 means 3 hours 10 to 11 11 to 12 12 to 1 10 to 11 11 to 12 12 to 1 3 hours okay everything 12 32 20 means 12 13 means uh, 28 8 7.5 nearly the 7 and off okay guys Mm, now 
F2 F4 open parenthesis lock from all sides ok sorry I did something wrong over here escape so that we revert to the previous formula it won't change anywhere this one F4 multiply by this whole thing now you'll get the salary you can see 937.50 okay guys you got this one now back 5 now how to count the words in this here ok total 16 words are there let's check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 ok guys i will explain you how it works ok is equal to lang open the bracket this cell percent there is extra extra space extra character is there f9 ok extra one is there so i am using that extra comma also ok minus len of substitute sorry did something wrong here wait a second the procedure is correct ok i did wrong ok len of to shift down arrow ampersand comma close parenthesis minus and now substitute sub substitute this whole characters same this whole characters ampersand comma comma old text comma new text double quotes blank i need blank so let's check whether it is working or not f9 to evaluate okay something from okay i forgot to open parenthesis f9 now count how many are there 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 2 12 12 plus 4 16 now <coughs> simply do some product some product can handle array some product come to end of this close parenthesis control enter suppose if we remove any word from here let's see if we remove red ok we will keep comma like let's check so it's same see when you remove the comma then only it will work otherwise it won't work <coughs> thinking that comma is also a, a word ok now jumping to home sixth one ok guys you have to try sixth one i am giving another chance to you it's very 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 important so i am jumping to seventh ok you have to find you have to find the last occurrence of this letter n and extract the date from here ok see what I, how i will do is equal to look up is a look up is a great function where it look up last characters ok first of all what i will do first of all is equal to is anything is anything equal to this ok this criteria n ok f9 it will show it true and false ok that good now what i will do 1 divided by 1 divided by f9 let's see what will happen so see it will extract this last one we want this last one last n this one we need from here ok this one we need ok observe guys this one the last one so what you will do look up the last one so 2 is the last in this character 1 is minimum the so 2 is the last comma what will be the result vector if it finds last one then you have to take out the dates one so look up it will ignore errors whatever it may be it ignores it won't count it, it, it will it will check only the numbers 
or any true or false but it won't it least to bother about the errors okay enter it is a general format so you have to convert into a date format i'll click here format painted click here see okay guys this to continue this work okay thank you okay guys understood now the sixth one you have to try by your own i will i will later i will post this one okay now eighth one here every person maximum person will do if but instead of if you can use another function also that is indirect and we look up i will show how it works okay first of all name this field like this okay let's check it will work or not hyderabad here hyderabad is this so i am naming this hyder as a hyderabad okay let's check whether it is working or not hyderabad yes it is working same like this sikindrabad sikindrabad the name should be the same okay or else it won't understand enter <coughs> sorry guys now is equal to we look up this in in void f3 in hyderabad it works let's see what we will do comma second okay direct i'm taking this one let's check see double click okay i'm doing like this now it's already there it's already there so it will take only the hyderabad one so we need this one this cell okay so what we'll do instead of this comma this in this table i need okay let's check See, it is showing any why because it is considering as a text not the name so what you will do you have to wrap this one into indirect function so that it will understand that it is a name of the table or a range control enter double click okay guys home ninth one okay one guy did exact Drag the thing what I said to him, okay, with the database function. So what is that? D get. I'll I'll read this one. Is equal to I'll zoom. Sorry guys, this many. Mm. Is equal to D get. Is is very much similar to a VLOOKUP. Okay. So what it is asking database. So include the field, select the range. No need of control backspace to go back to the previous the cell where you are entering the formula. Comma field. Which field do you want to show? At uh, this one, one, two, three, or three. Third one. Okay, these two things you can use. Which one? One, two, three. Comma. the criteria it should be the same like here okay no change let's check whether it is working or not close parenthesis enter see guru okay guys but i understand if you have doubt please let me know in the comment box and if anybody wants this solved file please mention your mail id in the comment box so that i mail to this email this file to that mail id home now 10 here what i said find the click it uh, find the company name which bid lowest among others lowest to me lowest among others so what you will do first of all you have to do minimum lowest is nothing but minimum right minimum take this one it's a relative reference okay it's a relative reference control enter so it is showing that 205 is the minimum okay done Okay, two zero five is the minimum. Okay, here come here two zero five is the minimum. So F two wrap this minimum into a match, comma, 
hit this one in this the same range okay that will be exact match i have i'm not locking this one sorry to copy a six 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 two six. Sorry, I six, not H six, I six, I six. Here also I six, here also I six. So I'm not locking because I have to check down also. Okay, now check F nine, see three, one two three. It is showing the position where it occurs the minimum value. Okay, control enter. Three okay. Down. Now F two. Simply we look up. Sorry, not we look up, guys. Sorry, uh, we have to range, not the value. For range, we have to use index. So lock from all sides. F four, comma, coming to end of this. Close parenthesis, control, shift, and enter because we are using array formula. Yes, only the question six. You have to try. In next video, I'll explain what it is. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your support. Have a nice day.